Oh, hello, boys and girls. I was just practicing my juggling. Now, today I thought I would tell you another musical story. I've got something to show you, but it's so tiny, I've put it on some sticky tape for you to see. Do you know what it is? It's one tiny grain of wheat. And if you sow a grain of wheat in the ground and the rain falls and the sun shines, one day each tiny grain will grow into a stalk of wheat with lots of grains of wheat on the top. My story today is the story of the little red hen. Oh, here she comes. Hello, little red hen. The little red hen lived on a farm with her lazy friends. There was a cat and a rat and a pig. One day the little red hen was walking through the farmyard when she spotted one tiny grain of wheat. She wanted to eat it, but because she was clever, she decided she would sow the grain of wheat and wait for all of the grains of wheat to grow. Then she could turn it into flour and make a delicious loaf of bread. I found some wheat that I really want to eat But the grains are small, won't fill me at all And so instead I will make some bread Not just for myself but for everyone who helps me make this bread She went to her friends, the cat, the rat and the pig and she said who will help me plant this wheat it's hard to do with just my beak sowing every little grain in the soil with the wind and rain such a tiring job to do who will help will all of you oh dear not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. Aren't they lazy? <coughs> Which means, then I shall plant the wheat myself. <coughs> then I will sow. In the ground below, each tiny grain, till the sun and rain makes it grow tall, then gather it all. Mix the water, yeast and flour, bake for half an hour to feed us all. I think it's time we met one of the little red hen's friends. Which one should we meet? I know. Let's meet the cat. Can you call out for cat? Meow. Meow. The cat was ever so furry and shiny with a long fluffy tail. But as I told you before, she was quite lazy. I think we should sing a cat song, don't you? Meow. 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 Did you ever see a kitty? A kitty? Kitty, looking furry, looking pretty, a kitty like me. My fur is so shiny, my tail is so tidy. Did you ever see a kitty, a kitty like me? The wheat had grown tall, and the little red hen went to her friends and said, which means, who will help me cut this wheat? Who will help me cut this wheat? It's hard to do with just my beak. Cutting down each golden straw, gathering it up from the floor, tying bundles with a string. Who will help me do this thing? Mm -hmm. Not 
I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. Oh dear, weren't they lazy? Which means, then I shall cut the wheat myself. Then I will cut like this and that each golden stalk though it's hard work and gather together whatever the weather all the stalks of wheat with my tiny feet then tie and tether Do you think it's time we met the rat? Here it comes! Oh, he's got a very long, thin tail. I think we could sing a rat song, don't you? I am a furry old rat. I'm smaller than pig and the cat. I'm very good at sniffing out food. That's probably why I'm so fat. Look at my whiskery nose I follow wherever it goes Discovering nosh that's ever so posh Is why I'm so fat, I suppose mm -hmm. The little red hen went to all her friends and said Which means, who will help me carry the piles of wheat to the windmill? Not I, said the cat. Eek. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. <coughs> Which means, then I will take the wheat to the windmill myself. Need the miller in the town to grind the wheat down. Put the flour in the sack. Then carry it back Then off we go To the baker we know Who will mix and knead Let it rise indeed Into a dough Do you think it's time we met the pig? Can you call out for pig? <coughs> Hello pig! It's a shame you're all being so lazy, isn't it? I think we should sing a pig song. I am a pig, people say I'm ever so big. So heavy and so greedy and so lazy and so very muddy too. I am a pig, people say I eat anything. In sight, probably they're right, tend to have a bite and a chew. I do. I've got something else to show you. It's very important in our story. It helps to grind the wheat into flour. Yes, it's a windmill. And when the wind blows, the sails turn around. And that turns around some big heavy grinding stones, which grinds the wheat into flour. And the miller, who lives in the windmill, puts the flour in the sacks and sends it off to the baker to make into bread, cakes and biscuits. The little red hen sang Who will help me take this flour to the baker takes an hour over fields without a stop till we reach the baker's shop there he'll turn it into bread who will help me Nod your head. The little red hen turned to her friends for help. Oh dear. Not I, said the cat. Eek. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the pig. Weren't they lazy and unhelpful? So the little red hen said, which means, 
Then I will take it to the baker all by myself. <laughs> Then it must bake in the oven to make a loaf of bread on which we'll spread some butter and honey to taste so yummy. Not just for myself, but for all who help me make this bread. Fill your hungry tongue, everyone who helps me make this bread. There'll be lots to eat. Come and help me feast upon this bread. I've got something else to show you, which is very important in our story. Look, inside here is the special loaf of bread that the little red hen made all by herself. Would you like to see it? Look. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh. The little red hen turned to her lazy friends and she said, <coughs> which means, who will help me eat this bread? I will, said the cat. <laughs> I will, said the rat. <laughs> I will, said the pig. The little red hen <laughs> turned to her lazy friends <laughs> and said, <laughs> which meant, who will help me eat this bread? Don't be shy, just nod your head. If you helped me plant and sow, help the wheat to strongly grow. Did you cut it, gather piles, carry them for miles and miles? Did you walk without a stop from the millers to the baker's shop where the baker lives to bake the bread? Oh dearie me, you shake your head, for I'm the only one who helps. So I will eat it all myself. This fresh and golden, warm, delicious, healthy, shining, filling loaf of yummy, scrummy, fill my tummy, cost no money, loaf of bread, myself. Do you think the little red hen was being greedy? No. None of her lazy friends had helped her, so she ate the loaf of bread all by herself. That's the end of my story, boys and girls. And I think it tells us to always remember to be kind and helpful. I bet you are always kind and helpful. I'll have to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.